Hey guys, this is John with Shipman Farm, and I haven't put up a video in a while, so uh, I happen to have my phone with me, so I'm going to shoot something real quick, just so you can uh, kind of see uh, what's still going on down here in the greenhouse, and it's supposed to get in the 20s, but we still have peppers going. Put a couple of these little Costco heaters on uh, thermostats, and it just kind of blows the heat uh, toward the peppers when it freezes in here, so... I don't have any other heating system. I've got some barrels set up, but only one has a little bit of water in it. I need to uh, to uh, plug these little things here and put water in these barrels to help. But uh, so far, so good. We don't have any frozen water lines or anything like that. The underground water seems to help keep the uh, temperature fairly good. So anyway, you'll see uh, we've got some bib lettuce. Now this is getting kind of old, so it's getting a little tip burn. Um, these are the new plants. I need to get all these out of here, but we've got so much lettuce right now. Um, I did start a video about these uh, Johnny Seed lettuce plants here. Now these are actually made for greenhouses and their max height will be 8 inches. And uh, you can see we've got Dragoon, Breen, and uh, looks like Truncus. So these are more of a red lettuce and that's a green lettuce, but it's a romaine variety from Johnny Seeds. And uh, you see we even got some spinach back there. Um, and the kale is always way too much kale. This stuff grows like crazy, uh, got quite a bit cleaned out. You see more down here. And we also got, we're trying out some cabbage plants in the uh, float bed. I uh, put a little bok choy over there, but I don't think it's getting enough sunlight because of all this lettuce that I'm going to pull out here. And you kind of look. I just kind of dumped seeds in the grow beds and it went a little nuts. We've been eating off this. Just We keep trying to cut the leaves back. You can see uh, the asparagus is still here. I need to cut that back too and a lot of snap peas whoa we need to need to do some picking here I didn't see that I don't always come down to the greenhouse that often we normally just grab some lettuce and go so here's some uh, some cabbage we are trying these are also a red and green greenhouse variety from Johnny Seeds and uh, I think random seeds are coming up that I put in there a long time ago. Maybe a broccoli or something. But uh, so far the peppers have been surviving. I'm trying to see um, if I can keep them through the winter. If these things will really produce next summer. But you can see they flowered and I need to uh, probably do a little trimming down here. But... You can see there's peppers starting everywhere. So I, I think if I can keep them alive, these things will really produce and really need to cut back on the jalapeno plant. We don't eat that many jalapenos. We do like jalapenos, but when you get hundreds of them, a little overwhelming on that front so anyway the uh, sage really good in soups that's still surviving and I think this is some time that I threw the seeds in there a long time ago and it finally decided to come up so we still have rosemary over there oh that smells really good this is really good in soup so anyway guys I just wanted to put a video out another random seed came up looks like maybe a cauliflower or a broccoli plant so anyway a lot of times I'll poke seeds in there and uh, they don't come up and I think they're dead so I replant but I'll let you guys go but I just wanted to give you a little quick update that yes we're still growing stuff and uh, I'll try to get some more videos up this year all right take care guys